Good morning, everyone. Please rise. Today, we will sing the hymn number 24, Love Was When, which is printed on the hymn book, page 50 to 51. Let's sing the hymn verse 1 once. When God became a man, log in time and space without track or place. Love was God, born of Jewish skin, just a carpenter with some fisherman. Love was when Jesus walked in history Lovingly he brought a new life that's free Love was God, now do bleed and die To reach and love one such as I Love was God, only He would try to reach and love one such as us sinner. So let us pledge our thankfulness to our God by saying the hymn verse 2 once. Please turn your hymn book to page 9 and refer to item number 23. Today's scripture is taken from Psalms chapter 99, verse 9. Please listen to God's word. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalms chapter 99, verse 9. Let's read it together. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalms chapter 99, verse 9. Let's bow and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful to have your presence today. We praise you for your love, glory, and mighty power. Lord, the final examination is coming. Please bless our schoolmates to have strength and persistence to strike for our best to study. Give us wisdom to manage our time well. Lord, please bless our teachers and principal to have your anointment on teaching and all the planning for the next academic year. May your will be done and your holy name be honored in Manzang. May your mercy and protection be with all men singers always. In the glorious name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, Mr. Reskan, principal, vice principals, teachers, and fellow students. We are the career ambassadors this year. Today, we are glad to invite our honorable guest, Mr. Reskan. Res is the corporate sustainability manager of Fuji Xerox Hong Kong Limited, 
and one of the core volunteers of the Art Jamming project. So let's give a big applause to welcome Rex. This year, we have participated in many activities and services. First, two students will share about their learning from the JA Is My Business program. Besides, some of the career ambassadors went to Meifu two weeks ago to join an activity called Dialogue in the Dark. It is a great experience to all of us. After that, Chen Hunyan Anson from Form 6D will come back and have a sharing on her life a life planning and visitor on Hong Kong Academy of Medicine. Finally, we will talk about a social service, painting with children we did last month. So now, may we invite our principal, vice principals, honorable guests on the stage, proceed to the auditorium to enjoy our show. So now, let's invite Candice and Angel to talk about the learning from the Is My Business program. Good morning, everyone. I'm Candice from 4D. And I'm Angel from 4D. Today, we would like to share an event with all of you, and it's called Is My Business. There were in total of six sessions and they were conducted by business advisor. They were ranging from creating advertisement to writing business proposal. Session one is about I am an entrepreneur. Working in groups, students can play the e-quiz game show. They begin to identify entrepreneurial characteristics. They possess by learning about the lives of entrepreneurs. Session two is called I Can Change the World. Students work in groups to complete a blueprint for a teen club. They identify the first entrepreneurial characteristic, feel a need by considering customer needs and brainstorming product design. Students begin to identify the skills and knowledge needed to start a business. Session three is about I Know My Customer. Students recognize the second entrepreneurial characteristic, know your customer and product. Students discover ways to market specific products to the appropriate customers. Session four is called I Have an Idea. Students participate in an auction designed to highlight creativity and innovative entrepreneurs and their business. Session five is I See a Need. By analyzing current examples of social entrepreneurs, students identify business they can start. They examine ways entrepreneurs use the four entrepreneurial characteristics. Develop their business plan. Session six is called Celebrate Entrepreneurs. Students celebrate entrepreneur profile cards to showcase their understanding of the fourth entrepreneurial characteristic, believe in yourself. It is, it is a total of six hours learning activity which emphasize entrepreneurship while providing a strong focus on social studies, reading and writing skills. Students are encouraged to use critical thinking to learn entrepreneurial skills that support positive attitudes as they explore and enhance their career aspirations. Through participating in these activities, students can learn about lives of successful entrepreneurs, understand how business fill a market need create effective advertisements, and appreciate how business or entrepreneurs create positive impact on the community. 
Through this workshop, we learn to attract attention of the audience and we have understood entrepreneurship, which is actually solving the problem existing in the market. Also, we understood the importance of creativity and we learned many new skills and techniques. We are happy to have joined this activity. Come and join us. May we now pass the mic to the career ambassadors. Thank you. On the 30th of April, we career ambassadors went to the Dialogue in the Dark. This is the billboard. And the Dialogue in the Dark is a social enterprise. A social enterprise is an organization that applies commercial strategies to maximize improvements in human and environmental well-being, rather than maximizing profits for external stakeholders. For Dialogue in the Dark, its mission is that engaging people of differences to create social impact. After we arrived, we had the briefing session. They introduced us the instructions and rules. We also learned how to use the white cane. Afterwards, we enjoyed the journey. In the room, we could not see anything. We normal people face a lot of difficulties, but the guide led us through the room as if she could see. We learned that people who are blind are not useless in the society. We should not discriminate them. We should not look down on them, but to treat them with love and care. We also learn the importance of having our own sight. Therefore, we should treasure what we have now. We think that Dialogue in the Dark is a good social enterprise, as it can provide jobs for people in need and educate the public. This was an experience that we would never forget. Thank you. Hi, long time no see and miss here. Today I'm going to tell you more about my visit to the Academy of Medicine and how my life planning was. Uh, well, before I uh, have my DSE, I went to the Hong Kong Academy of Medicine along with several friends who are also interested in the Faculty of Medicine. It's actually a school for teachers, uh, it's actually a school for doctors who want to pursue further studies in specialties. Um, to, that day I learned more about the career of a doctor. Not only you have to know about the inner structure or other things, surgery procedure, you need to know deeper in more about the specialties. For example, generics in gynecology, for example, like optometry, etc. There are altogether, I think, 15 to 16 specialties in Hong Kong. Well, I hope you know them. They are the special guests on that day. Uh, the left one is Dr. Ko Wing Man, the Secretary of Food and Health. And the right one is Dr. Gabriel Matthew Leung. He's the Dean of Li Ka Shing Faculty of Medicine in Hong Kong U. It's great to know them. Uh, to talk with them and to hear their sharing about how their medical life was. Well, um, to prepare for the, uh, the Faculty of Medicine or other faculties like the Faculty of Law or the Faculty of Engineering, I think there are several things you need to do at the moment. First of all, do check out the information day in universities. They give you a lot of insight as well as motivation. Well, I went to Hong Kong U and see you. Uh, two years ago. I think I've learned a lot of how their admission was. I think I've learned a lot of how their campus like. And it gives me motivation to do better. I can say it's had a magic effect on me. I study harder and harder in order to strive for my goal. Therefore, do check out the information day there. Secondly, do know more about the requirements and qualities that they're looking for. For example, like if you wish to study in medicine, 
you have to have chemistry, and biology is very preferred. If you wish to study uh, engineering for Form 4 students, do choose M1 or M2 in Form 5 because they are looking for it. It's essential. If you wish to study the Faculty of Law, you need to brush up your English and brush up your languages. There are some very basic requirements you need to know before you choose your career path. And secondly, to know more about the qualities that they are looking for. Whether your personality is suitable for you to do the job that you are wanting to do. For example, I went to the admission talk and I went to the interview of the CUHK Global Medicine, the medicine. They're telling me that what qualities they're uh, exactly looking for for students in CUHK. So do ask your big brothers and sisters, ask the alumni of uh, Mansan College who is currently or who has graduated from this kind of faculties. They can tell you more about the qualities or they can tell you more about what life is like in the universities and this is very great. Here's my life planning process along. Well, I've started to think about my career from a very young age, so it's not a problem for me. But I do notice that a lot of people don't exactly know what they want to be or aren't sure right now. So life planning is very essential in a secondary year. Uh, in Form 1 or Form 2, I'm sure that all of you have participated in a new leaders program or sort, where you work with the bankers and to know more about the skills and to brush up your leadership skills. At that time, you don't essentially need to know what your career is like, but then you have to learn how to face the real life business and how to make decisions and more about the skills that you're encountering in real life. Therefore, in Form 1 or Form 2, we already have the uh, skills or have a basic idea of what real life is. Well, secondly, in Form 5, I'm starting to think whether I should go to other career paths as a backup plan, you know? Life is very unpredictable. Until now, I don't know whether I can get into the faculty that I want to be. So you need a backup plan. Don't just focus on one career, focus on others, think of others. If I can be a doctor, what would I be? So I went to the Unreasonable SC. This is like a business program, whether you know more about how it's like to work in a business field. Well, I can say after I've went to there, uh, I know business is definitely not my thing. I'm not saying that it's not a nice experience. It's very nice and I've learned a lot of entrepreneurial skills or something like that. But I discover myself to not have the weight nor interest towards business view. So uh, by more, uh, having more exposure, by engaging in more activities, you know about your interests, you know more about what you do want and what you don't want. Uh, it's like a negative deduction. I went there to have an experience, but I discovered that I'm not good for it. So in my Jupiter's choice, in the 20 choices, I don't have one single business field uh, uh, place in a university because I know that I'm definitely not the material for business field. So lastly, during your Form 5 and Form 6 years, especially Form 5, do pay attention to the JUPAS talk and the admission interview details about uh, the uh, university that you're going in Form 6. Uh, Monsang and coordinate a lot of JUPAS talk. Do pay attention to them because they give you a lot of procedure and they give you a lot of insights on how you can prepare for your JUPAS, your strategy of how to choose your universities and how to place your priorities. Well, um, I have my admission interview before DSC. I can share an interesting question with you. I think that is quite nice. Uh, the doctor and the professor asked me, there are two children now, one with heart defects and other a lot of inborn diseases. The second one with heart defects but otherwise healthy. Now you have one heart only. You have to give it to either one of them. Who will you pick? And this kind of interview questions is very challenging. It's very, um, it allows the professors to know more about your stance, your point of view, and which person you are. So do pay attention to a lot of different past questions before you uh, get to your interview and choose your faculty, because they do give you a lot of insights on who you want to be and your career choice. Um, it's never too soon to think of your career. I start at three. So start preparing now before it's too late. Thank you.
like this. Is it switched? Hmm? Okay. So, good morning, everyone. I'm firstly very sorry for my red face because I just ran to school. I'm really sorry for that. So. Um, first, I would like to tell you today from our junior success workshops, because yeah, first it was some time ago, early this year, and it had some information about how you can get into a job and what you have to do for getting into a job. So, next please. First, of course, everybody has to prepare, so we had to go home first, and we had um, to write a letter and a curricul curriculum where we had to write inside what we are, who we are, what we can, what we can't, just to make the people who will talk to us a bit experience about ourselves in front of everything. So, next one please. Then when we have been to school, it was on a Saturday, there were some people from, um, City, uh, from Citibank and they had first a shortly discussion with us um, about how to, yeah, how to promote oneself, what to do, what to talk, and what not to do, which is also important. And one very important thing is actually a good handshake. Um, so whenever you want to get in a job, train your handshake first, probably with your dad or mom, because this actually shows already a bit of what person you are. Are you more shy or are you more open? So. Um, then we went with them into a short discussion just to give us some key points. And afterwards, next one please, we got into the interview. And yeah, in the interview, we did it quite real. So the whole hall was full of people who examined us, kind of. We were sitting there and the people who examined us were asking questions like in a real interview. And we could just train how we would react. And as I wrote down, the best part of it is actually to talk freely to them afterwards because this is the part where you get some feedback and also where you can have some casual discussion with them about what they did and what they would suggest to you. Um, for example, me, I was asking about a good university I could study in because I didn't know at that time and the lady who examined us could give me great advice. So whenever you come to such a meeting, and I would recommend you to do that, because yeah, you can learn a lot and actually it's really fun. Just get there and ask them afterwards by yourself. Just make sure that you understood everything and that they could give you the best impact they could because they really want to. So once again, when you want to go there, it's a great chance. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today, we would like to share a meaningful and creative event that we have joined. I know it is an art jamming workshop on 21st April. It is co-organized by Fuji Xerox and the ha Children Heart Foundation. It was a great experience. Our schoolmates and Hong Kong IS art students were the volunteers. We taught children from the Children's Heart Foundation and Fuji Xerox employees. Do you know why we said this is a meaningful and creative event at the beginning? Of course, it is an activity that includes green, arts and surface elements. So why is it green? In the activity, we reuse parts of old office multifunction devices to form new art pieces. The bird in the picture is one example. Then we paint one on those art pieces with acrylic. Look, these are the fi wonderful final products created by us. The activity organizer, Fuji Xerox, is aiming to carry out sustainability. The first thing to maintain sustainability is to carry out the corporate social responsibility. We call them CSR. Fuji Xerox has provided different interest groups for employees, like football team or even cooking classes. Through this channel, they also encourage them to join green voluntary work, like the art jamming workshop this time. Fuji Seawalls also has an energy management system in which they promote green concepts to their business partners and the next generation. 
They would like to call for action to achieve the common goals and targets of reducing carbon emission and living green. I see. At this time, they are trying to introduce green concepts to us, the young volunteers and participants. This is how they can ensure sustainability in the future. Yes, Fuji Zeros also recycle the waste. They collect old printers and ink cartridges from the customers. Then, they will fix them and resell them. For those who cannot be fixed, they reuse them for social services. The devices we used in art jamming were coming from the recycling process. It is really an environmental friendly company. You know what? Now, Fuji Zero Hong Kong can have more than 90% recovery rates. In Japan, the rate is even nearly 99.99%. It almost reached the aim of zero landfill. Yes, we should also take action to conserve the environment. Let's think about what we can do to create a green community. Let me talk about the art element of the workshop. We have invited a lot of art students to join this career activity. All of us were inspired by two famous local artists, Alan and Achoy. Yes, they taught us different useful painting skills. I remember that they also showed us some examples of reusing different unwanted materials. In this part, in the past, you just paint or paint her. But after this workshop, I found that we can use unwanted materials to form new art pieces. I remember the artist gave us some examples of using unwanted clothes and water bottles. We can save our earth by reusing the abandoned stuff. They, they really inspire me to think about environmental protection and I may explore more materials to create my own work. Here are our amazing words. The idea of painting on those machines past really has broadened our horizons. I think painting with students also creates the same effect. The kids were creative even though many of them suffer from heart disease. They just started to paint freely without any limitations and frameworks. They lead me to think out of the box and be more creative in order to make such beautiful artworks. You are right. Although I am not an art student, I can make beautiful artwork. We need to be brave to try new things. Have you ever thought of how you can create breakthroughs in your life? We may do more services. This time, the activity raised our awareness about the needy. They are all from Children's Heart Foundation. It is a registered charitable organization devoted to supporting ch children suffering from heart disease and their families. When we were associating with the children, we learned to be patient. We should be a role model and guide them. For the most important criteria, we need to have high tolerance too. See, our students paint happily with the children. That's why I always say giving equals taking. When you are helping others, you are also learning and gaining happiness. Think about how you can live a meaningful life. We really learned a lot. This art streaming has boosted our communication and interpersonal skills. We learned to take good care of children and cooperate with staff and parents. I try to talk more to those I don't know. People need to communicate every day and build good social relationships. I found out that communication skills are really useful for my future career. Great, I've also built problem solving skills. In the workshop, we faced different kinds of problems because kids are really unpredictable. As we were the caretaker at that time, we needed to overcome challenges by ourselves. That really trained up my creativity and mind. That's true. It is really important to equip ourselves for the even more challenging future. I think we should have a well life planning as soon as possible. For example, what is your dream? What would you like to do in the future? Then, what professional skills do you need? Let the artists in the workshop, they always keep upgrading their skill and learn from others. We can also join different activities or do more services in order to expose ourselves to more life experience. Then we can strengthen our life skills, such as the communication skills and problem solving skills that we have built in this workshop. Everyone has their rights and responsibilities. We should help our society and protect our earth in order to live a meaningful life. Plan and take action. We have more career activities waiting for you. Bye. Bye. So we now pass the mic to Mr. Mark for dismissal. Thank you.
Our Korean Miss, mistress, Miss Ho, will lead us a one-minute life planning. So let's invite Miss Ho now. Good morning. Well, I don't hear people, you know, I don't hear students, they respond to me. Okay, good morning. All right, with spirit again. Good morning. Right, the first thing in your IP, huh? Okay, so one minute is one minute. I want you to hold up your hand, like me. Do it, everybody. Yeah, teachers too. <laughs> Thank you. Now, look for it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. What do you see there? Time, yes. And what else? What else? Huh? Yeah, Mr. Mott. I, I want to invite Mr. Mott to do it with me. Thank you. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> okay, right. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So what do you see? Time. Do you see opportunities? Yeah. See? Time goes by. Opportunity goes through. Right? Experience. Many things. In whose hands? In yours or in mine? Well, ask to me. Say that together. In your hand, your time is in your hand or in my hand? Okay, in your hand, right? So I would say in my hand, right. Now, listen, you have all the careers ambassadors, okay? Even our graduate, you know, um, Ensign will come back and share with you all they have learned from various activities, the carries programs. Now, they all have one thing in mind. They want to stretch their sky, to see the outside world, to prepare themselves. And then at the same time, they want to bring back the best things that they have learned and to share with each one of you. And hopefully, you will get something you know, through your hand, your time, your, your effort, your patience, and grab it. So you have their sharing becomes your experience. Okay? So remember, next time, if you just eating, you know, doing nothing, you look at your hand, ah, oh, am I going to let all this good learning, this good sharing just live through my finger gaps by just hair? around <laughs> your time you know what hair means huh? so hair here hair there so remember life planning is in whose hand everybody say that huh okay now keep that in mind okay so today one minute life planning is all these is in my hand Okay, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I think maybe after uh, Mr. Moss <laughs> dismissal, I want to invite all the careers ambassador to uh, come up and also our principal, huh? and uh, of course Rex to come here. We will take a picture, you know, it's so, uh, I mean, uh, incredible to have Rex to come over and share the joy with us, okay? So thank you.